Yes! God <laughs> damn it! <laughs> I was gonna say it, then you start saying it, then I thought I shouldn't say it, and then and then I was not gonna stop. I wasn't gonna let you control me like that. And we're back. Hey, everybody. <laughs> God damn it. The fuck are we going? Hey, Cthulhu. Right, so, this is ooh. Cthulhu. Why are the fuck? I, uh, because they the were Amelia was praising Cthulhu. Actually, no. But that is a god. Can't wait till we get there. So we're gonna want to go down all these stairs. Okay. Fuck. Did you forget? Oh my god, he doesn't care. No. No, he doesn't. I hope that frenzy bar doesn't go all the way up. Uh, Cause that might kill me. Yes. <laughs> Next time. Wow, <laughs> man, this was a great beginning to the episode. <laughs> awesome. Right. So what? What are we? Okay, what are we gonna go accomplish right now? Um, this is mostly going to be story stuff. So what I need you to do, uh, we're going to be running into the last few people that we can possibly save in this game. Okay. Uh. Or at the very least, the last few people that can't defend themselves. Okay. Um, so it's the people who were sending to Cathedral Ward, the people we're sending to Adela and Yusefka, yes. and all those people. Yes. Okay. No, there's a you. You are a bitch. That's right. Fuck you. They, these guys look like a. You watched Danny Phantom? Huh? You watched Danny Phantom? Um. Yes. I don't know why I had to think about it. Uh, no. Fuck you. Haha. <laughs> They remind me of one of the enemies from that game. Oh, uh, one of that game. <sighs> was was he like the judge? The Walker. Walker was his name. Walker. Walker. He was white and he had a coat and a hat, kind of like. Yeah, that. yeah. He was like the warden of the underworld. Yes. Uh, no. So we're gonna go down all the way down the stairs. All the way down the stairs. Yes. Shh. Until we. Shh. He's sleeping, Trey. We can sneak past him. He's sleeping. Nick, we don't have to wake him up. I. Uh, he's sleeping. He's, he's gonna... Bitch! Ah, suck my ass! Where are we going? All the way down the stairs. Haha, <laughs> 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 fuck him! I'm like a little kid with ding-dong ditching. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna turn here. Woo! See that ladder? Yeah. Up that ladder. Fuck this dog. Fuck PETA. <laughs> Actually, do fuck PETA. They're Actually, horrible people. Just a bad organization. They're just the worst, really. Just... Their mission statement is, is just false. Their <laughs> mission statement is... Horribly, horribly wrong. They're the worst kind of people. They really, really are. Like, I, I actually took a poll around my high school. Most people consider PETA worse than the KKK. <laughs> and I agree with that. <laughs> okay, so you're going to want to watch out for the ambush. Eh. Oh! <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey! Wow! Can, can you just... Wow, they like... Fuck. Eh, they're dead. They're, they're all dead. dead. I survived. I lived to tell the tale. Alright, so there's gonna be more ambush. Yeah, I figured. But there's always you more ambush. handled almost the worst of it. Really? That was the worst of it? Because I just pressed R1 until they all died. This is the worst of it. Now, you don't want to be hit by him at all. Uh, wasn't really part of the game plan. Alright, I think you can get up. Nope. Yeah, he's, he's dead. Done. Yeah, see, don't worry about it, Trey. I got this. I got this Bloodborne thing. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been doing really good lately. Like, these these last, like, ten parts, I've been really solid on this game. You... Are, have you been watching the same footage? <laughs> <laughs> okay, in, I, I was looking through it. I spent a long time in the Forbidden Woods. Yeah. Like, that was a while. The no. last about ten parts have been in that fucking place. The most bullshit part of the game. I'm really... I, I get it now. I get that all now. You said that the first time, and I didn't quite register. And like, and I was looking through the footage, and I heard you go, this is the most bullshit part of the game. And I was like, oh my god, he warned me. Why didn't I listen? Because, like, you hear that, and you're like, well, it's Bloodborne. It's all pretty hard. Yeah. Like, like oh, whoa, this is foggy. Oh, it's like gorillas in the mist. Oh, how's this guy doing? Oh. Not great. Not super. So this is the downtown Yarnum you were telling me about the first time. Yeah, this is where I thought we were. Which I get, it looks pretty similar. Right? So I, I understand the uh, the mishap between those. Mm -hmm. That was that was when we fought, first saw sack bitches. Yeah. Fuck those guys. Oh, she has a child. Is she... Had... Has? Is she gonna... Is she gonna eat it? Like, I'm no, hungry. No, she, she's not gonna eat it. Oh... Wait, so the knight can even get to the children? The knight especially gets the children. 
So what? And I don't know if we've gotten to the point where they really explain how the night affects babies. I don't think they've really talked about how much the night affects anyone, have they? Um, they have to an extent. So here's what I. So let's Keep see. Going. Not up there. Not that way. Ah, don't worry about. It. I'll just explore shit. Um. So. I'm going to hold off on what I know about that for now. Here I am. Well, an outsider who's come to join the hunt. What a pathetic idea. All right. You what? So I'm going to give you a suggestion for where you should send this guy, but you do not have to listen to it. Okay. Oh, wait. Talk to him again. I feel you. What, you think this is funny? Well, I've certainly done to be gone with you. Oh, he's not going to listen to you until you help one other person. Alright, who's that other person? This one? Yeah. This bitch. This bitch. One of my favorite characters. Oh my, what a queer scent. That's, that's offensive. It's 2016. You can't say that. <laughs> blood and beasts any day. <laughs> what is it then? I'm off during hunts, so if that's what you're here for, I'll leave you to your own devices. If that doesn't do it, come back in the morning, darling. It's nice to know that some people still keep up with their craft. Wait, so what's she doing? Huh? Well, she she is a professional prostitute. Ah. Okay. Um, she's not turning you away, and she, but she's not going to let you in. That's, I think that counts as turning me away. I mean, she, when the night is over, she says you are more than welcome to come back. And fuck her. And fuck her. But for right now, it's just safer for her if you stay out. So, Odin Chapel or you said this Clint? Odin Chapel. Yeah, because the clinic, the clinic's a nice place, but it's not that safe, I feel. Because what the clinic has going for it is that it's a clinic and there's a doctor, but the, the chapel... doctor heal you if you're sick, but the chapel is a place where demons can't get in. Yeah. Which I don't get why, if, the, if, we, if we have incense that can fight off the night, why do we not have more incense? Well, I mean, that's what those lanterns are. Ah. Uh. Okay, so you can okay. have... So you can choose either one of these places to yes. send them. I would suggest Yosefka's Clinic. You don't have to, though. Why? Huh? Why Why Yosefka's Clinic over Odin Chapel? Um, there's a few reasons, but what's important is that... <clears throat> because, really, the only person I would say that we had to send to Odin Chapel is the prostitute. Okay. Um, I, I suggested that we send uh, Adela to o Odin Chapel just because the prostitute wasn't there and it's nice to be able to get her blood. Okay, this so guy doesn't, this guy will not give you anything. So what does giving it to a Yosefka's clinic do? Um, well, it allows you to send someone to Yosefka's clinic. You haven't sent anyone there and she's offered to like give you stuff. So it doesn't change. help me at all. Neither one does. So what the fuck? You're gonna want to send him somewhere. God damn it. <laughs> okay. Fine. Why? Wait, what? I don't care. Hold on. Try it again? You're still praying on folks with your book of lies. A book of lies. You just want to go to your sepsis clinic. Hmm. Yeah, too sharp for that bollocks. I know superstition when I hear one. Outsiders, even their lies are predictable. Okay. So I guess we're going to Odin Chapel then. Okay, fine. Stay here. Fucking die. Don't give a <laughs> shit. <laughs> I don't care anymore. I, that's not my job. That is not my, in my job description. My job description is to kill shit. I don't need to deal with you. <laughs> oh! oh! Speaking of which... <laughs> my job description is to kill you. See, he, he really looks like Walker. <laughs> Because he, he has does. the white. And, does. okay, so now we're in downtown Yarnum, right? Yeah. Okay. So we've done... Man, Yarnum is a... Uh, Yarnum? This place... What? what? Okay, I knew we had that weapon, but I've never been hit by it before, so I didn't know it did that. Stop it! <laughs> Why would he? It's super effective. Okay, I have a question. Okay. Okay, so how long is the night... Um, that's up to you. What do you mean, that's up to me? I mean, that's up to you. 
Okay, because this isn't the first time the night's a thing. Yeah. The night's been a thing. It's like the Hunger Games. Yeah. Or Battle Royale. Uh-huh. So they've dealt with the night before. How uh-huh. long is it on average? On uh, That depends on which hunter they choose. So there's only one hunter? Um, there's plenty of hunters running around, but only one gets the dream per night. Okay. And that's the hunter who is, like, burdened with stopping the night. Yes. Any hunter can do it, and all hunters basically are always around, whether the night is on or not, but only one gets the night per... Only one gets to dream per night. And obviously the hunters without the dream are at a slight disadvantage. Hence why... Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Hence why the hunters you've been killing have been staying dead. Yes. So, do they know I'm the hunter with the night, with the dream? Um, I'd like to... I'm pretty sure it's kind of like Undertale, where they put it together eventually. When they, yeah, they... Am I uh, back at... Yes. So, where the fuck am I going? So, right now, we want to go back to... Um, cent- no, Central Yarn. Hey, fuck you! Oh, I shouldn't have woken him up Whoa. earlier. Whoa! Thank God those invincibility frames. <laughs> am I right? Hey, oh. Is that part of my superpowers too? Invincibility frames. <laughs> I get the dream. I get invincibility frames. It's awesome. I think there are a few other. There are a few other hunters with invincibility frames. I feel. Uh, but they're the same as yours. That's fair. <laughs> that's just a hunter ability in general. Yeah. So okay. So the night. So why is everything? How long has the night been going on so far? So far since about you woke up. So why is everything immediately fucked? Because it looks like this place hasn't had anyone for weeks. Don't they have, like, a street cleaner or any type of manners? I could be wrong. It's possible that... It, I think it's possible that you weren't the first one to this specific night. The first one might have been uh, Father Gascoigne. Okay. And he... Just... He had the dream and everything. But he... He turned into a beast. Yes. And around the time it became apparent that was going to happen, someone either chose you, who was also a hunter, or, and I think it's more implied that this is what happened, took you out of, like, off the streets when you were just some normal dude, injected you with some of the healing church's blood, and gave you night. Gave, gave you dream. Night. Am I talking to this dude? Uh, let's do that. Gilbert. Still just dying. Still just dying. Okay, so... So here's what we were going to want to do. You're we'll do it go next down. time. Huh? Next time. Next time.